Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and this tutorial is going to be very simple, very basic, well for me at least, but I'm going to teach you guys how to do small cl uh, clip trims or uh, cuts and uh, basically to open up small clips, uh, I mean to create small clips and cut clips and trim them and uh, including audio clips as well. I had a question on this on one of my t videos and so I thought I would make it so I'm going to open up our iMovie tutorial events and our project. I'm actually going to delete everything that we've previously done except one clip and one title which says no more films on it. I'm going to delete that and then uh, just yes okay to delete it completely. And I'm going to expand this one as long as I can which looks like we can only expand it a little bit. Let's see if we can make it more bigger. Nope. Okay that's all we have. That's all apparently that we had regarding but this is just good enough for us to use to show you guys the clip and uh, in my previous tutorials I actually showed you guys um, the command the shortcut keys or quick keys um, functions which will, in this tutorial I'm going to be using command B you hold command and you hit B which will do the following as you can see where I have my my cursor at I'm going to move this one over here my cursor is right here and I want I'm going to hit command B and it'll, you see it cut the clip basically cut it right where I want it or split the clip and then I'm gonna hit command Z to actually undo that because that is not what I wanted to do so but yeah I'm gonna be using command B a lot so so first things first like I said uh, to make a small clip let's say this is uh, you're gonna to make a small clip uh, to yeah to get a small clip out of uh, your main clip or large clip that you put in and you only want like take off a little bit only you only want to use a little bit of it you just basically find where it's at and put your cursor right at that area right before that area and hit command B and it will actually make that 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 cut right there and then you can select the other part and hit delete if you don't want it but I'm hit command Z command Z command Z to undo all of those right there and uh, if you don't know what command Z command Z is basically undo undo or you can go up to the top right hand top left hand code go to edit and go to undo move which is the same thing but I like quick keys because it makes a lot makes my life easier and it will make your guys life a lot easier as well then also we got the sound effects so you, this can be done with sound effects or iTunes with any music song or let's say we go to let's just go to sound effects we're gonna go not effects but we're gonna go to jingles I believe it is or let's see what they have uh, jingles let's go to jingles these are like 20 second clips 40 second clips or let's say you have a clip on your desktop that you want to get you can just simply drag it and drag it so you'll click on it drag it and straight into one of these events um, well, depending on what event you have it then let it import and it will go from there but once you have it in your library and if you import it like dragging it from your desktop and put it into your events You'll go straight to your like you'll go to your whatever event you put it in and you'll show up down here under your clips that's where the sound footage would be but most time you'll find your sound or your in your itunes library or sound effects which are the provided sound effects or <laughs> jingles by imovie or final cut pro or GarageBand, which whatever one you preferably use but here we got acoustic sunrise i'm actually draw drag that in right in here you see i just as i can i just simply dragged it right into my project you can put it up here or down here in the where it says you see the little music symbol either one will work it works the same way I prefer to put it right next to my project and then let's say you only want a part of this you only want a part of this uh, clips instead of to drag it all in you can see the sim sample right here when you click on like this uh, acoustic sunrise you can just select right here like let me play it yeah I just played it by hitting the space bar but let's say you only want to like, you want to clip a bit so you basically choose by play first you want to find which one you want by you see there's a little pause there so we're gonna start at the pause and we're gonna get like let's say let's just get like five seconds of it and then we can drag that in and then we only got that five seconds now let's say you have another another clip that's that's a lot larger or it's just a lot and it's just you want the entire thing of it but you only want to remove a little bit of it like okay so we're gonna do that we're gonna put in this acoustic clip in here and then you can do the exact same thing as you would do on a normal clip here is you can go over to wherever you want this you want to split this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the clip here and then you're gonna hit command B again to split it right at where you where you want the clip to be split basically I mean the audio you want it to be split and again you can do this all along down here let's say you found a different one and sometimes honestly sometimes you'll get this error like you see it it's not working for me right now 
I don't know. I don't know really. I don't really know why the reason would be why it wouldn't let me do it. Sometimes it may be because it's not under a clip itself. So like this is it's just the audio, so it can't be split out here. But if it's under a clip, it can be split. So it's really really. Yeah, you see, it may be just that. But I hope this video helped you guys uh, answer the clip clipping and trimming odds of the part of the iMovie and let me know if you have any other questions catch you guys in the next tutorial and later Let my life be the proof, the proof of your